uh, first of all, congratulations on the win. Uh, I know it was physical. I know you kind of had to you know, keep that focus, but uh, that's kind of something Cuba City is used to. Did your experience in that department uh, pay off tonight? Yeah, I mean, we know going into every game, we're going to outfit Cologne. We like to grind it out. We like to get in there and rebound. I mean, that's one of our strengths. We hit the weight room. We know it's our job to get in there and get physical. Uh, you tried to get uh, Molly some touches, and uh, they were just doing a great job of collapsing on her, forcing you to kind of you know, create from the outside. How did the, uh, the ebb and flow of the game in terms of maybe them taking away your interior play a little bit uh, change uh, how you tried to attack Mineral Point? Well, Molly's a great post player. She's always there. We know we can always get her the ball. They had some size down though, and once we realized that, we started driving the lane a little more. And once we did that, things really started opening up for her too, and it got us shots, and it got her more shots. 33-33 going into the fourth quarter. What are you feeling like? Uh, you know, this is too long for Mineral Point to hang around. There aren't a lot of teams that hang around in Cuba City that long. Uh, we knew we had to play our own game. We knew we could get it done. We knew we had to go out there and, again, be more physical. Coach got us into a different defense. He's a really great coach, and he's part of the win. He knows what to get us in, and he's just really great at it. And uh, Chloe Pustina, scoreless in the first half, had a three in the third to kind of, you know, give us a glimpse of what was to come. But, boy, when you got her the ball in the fourth quarter, she was spot up deadly. I think maybe underrated as a shooter, and she showed tonight she can knock him down. Uh, Chloe's a great shooter. I always know when she's open she's going to knock that three down. We really connect out on the court well, and I know if I can find her, she's going to knock it down for us. And then your pressure defense, the trapping in the, in the basically the half court, just over half court, really got Mineral Point flustered. A lot of turnovers in the fourth quarter, and you were on the receiving end. Uh, looked like a, a jailbreak there, and you were, uh, it was kind of like playing wide receiver, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, our 32, we always do well in that. That's kind of our thing to go to when we need to. We love, again, that trap being physical and getting in their faces, and a lot of teams just don't know what to do when we put it on. By that point, if you've got three or four falls, you can't take them with you, right? So yep. let, let, what, what will be will be, right? Yep. And uh, the way you finish this ball game it has to give you a lot of confidence. I mean, a lot of people think, you know, this is one and two in the conference, and you were able to finally get that dagger at the end. Uh, how much, you know, I'm sure Mineral Point gained confidence playing with you guys for three quarters, but certainly you guys, you know, you've got to keep doing this year after year after year. It must be nice to know that it's still there. Yeah, I mean, we knew coming into this game it was going to be tough. I mean, we battled it out. We got our victory. But then again, tomorrow is just another day at practice and working and getting better at everything. Okay, well, Jessica Barty.